boy the winter time really has a lot of surprises for me and this is one of the plants that I have it's called the Kalanchoe marneriana and when I looked at one of the leaves this leaf has babies and plantlets on it about five or six of them so I had to remove that one leaf to put it on soil so that the rest of the babies can grow um, bigger and in searching for information about Kalanchoes I found that some Kalanchoes will um, have plantlets on their leaves and what's so funny about this is, is that all the other leaves did not have any plants on it except for this one particular leaf you guys what's happening here? how weird is that just one leaf no other leaves except for this but no other leaves on this plant it's like that except for that one how weird is that okay i made a mistake here with my strategy i didn't know that the ioniums are going to be so huge um when i planted it now that I know my Arby Colada is being covered over there. So I'm going to have to maybe behead the Arby Colada and move it somewhere else and just keep it there. I don't know if that's going to go taller. Hoping it would. Um, but right now there's so many weeds. Um, another mistake that I should have thought about when I before I put the rocks down. Um, same thing that happened in the front uh, might have to do this sometime in the summer just scrape off all the the rocks or just put new rocks in I don't really care um, but look at this is my Aurora jelly beans that was just one stalk when I planted it and then look at my wayward child over there it likes the rain. I don't know. I mean, I guess it likes the rain here in California. I thought that it would not um, happen because I've always had a problem with my, um, the one that's hanging, my hanging basket. But if you look now, and this guy, or this lady, got a lot of rain the past couple days. And look how prolific it's growing even this one this one has always been so healthy though this is the original stem of the Ptolemonensis plant where I removed the head I beheaded it because um, it was damaged by fungi and now it is just it's just growing so fast and um, it is being replaced by these little babies um, which is awesome and I could either leave it there or I could also replant it in its own little pot. But I'll probably leave it for now because I need the the uh, planter to just fill out. Wait for the Ptolemonesis that I beheaded not too long ago. Probably a month ago. And look at the roots system already. Very nice. So I'm just going to leave it there. So this is two weeks later. The Stoli Menensis is doing just fine. We've got a couple of weeks of rain uh, off and on. But it's been doing great. I think like this Paraguayans right here. Um, there was a big... Uh, we had... I don't know what's doing this, but um, I think my suspicion is when we had that hail storm, um, it kind of ruined my plants right here. See this? Looks like something's biting it. I don't see any bugs though.
Here's the... Ugh, I see something in there. This is my life. Mealybugs are the worst enemies. Especially, this is so tight in here. But if it's in there, it's dead now. Surprise! What is that? It's kind of laying down. It's growing from the stem, but it's laying down. So I think this is how it propagates. So I see roots right there. So I guess I can cut that off and make a baby out of it. Sinecio stapiliformis. And look at my jelly beans. Look how red they have become. Wow. So pretty. One of the surprises I get. And of course, my ghost plants, my baby ghost plants from uh, leaves. They're propagated from leaves and they are now almost teenagers. And this was when I repotted it. But now I can see that most of them are going to pretty much fill up this plant. There are times when the leaves don't even fall off the stem before they propagate and make new babies. And usually they just hang on until the leaves die out and then another plant is um, grown in its place. So those are the kinds that are so awesome because you don't even have to put them in soil or a new soil or anything like that. They just grow and grow and grow and it's just so wonderful. Can somebody tell me what plant this is? This was a volunteer in one of my um, plants that I bought from, I don't know, I think it was um, Home Depot or something, or I don't know, which whatever um, big box store that it was in the same planter that one of my plants came in. And it is a succulent. And it just grew so fast but then when I moved the planter to a different location it broke off so I was thinking about planting it um, in the ground so that it can maybe grow again and just keep going but I don't know what plant this is so I'll come show you let's go plant so I have my potting mix right here and miracle grow and my worm castings this is just regular potting mix but i'm going to add perlite to make it the um, cactus mix so all those three and here i'm going to fortify the spot first get rid of all of the the weeds and pretty much this soil is already really nice and um, conditioned because I put my hot compost in this whole row right here this whole bed So I'm hoping that it's going to survive. Here's my unidentified plant right here. See the marks from the uh, hail right there. Didn't do anything the insides, but it's already anchored there. It's not going anywhere. There's already new growth coming up right there. And 
think this one's it's anchored it's alive so if anybody knows what this genus is um, make a comment on the comment section for me so here are some of the harvested plants that I got out of out of my babies and this is the Ranioni. This is uh, Imbricata. And then the rest of them are Echeveria polydonis. These came from three different plants. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. So 14 plants from three plants. That's not a bad deal. Just gonna take them inside because I need to let them rest. Some of these guys need to heal. Violacia is this is so pretty. I love the the um, texture and the design that this particular plant gives out. It's so pretty. It's like leopard spotted. So pretty. And it starts out like this like dark and then when it as it grows it becomes spotted i don't know it's just really strange looking very nice and this cross of a campfire is just gets so red in the winter time so pretty i just cleaned it um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of mud splashing back to it for some reason. Ciao. Thank you guys so much for sharing this moments with me. And I uh, hope that you come back and share more moments with me when I check out what's going on in the garden. And what surprises it gives me every single time I come out. And so I leave you with my most precious hailstorm in California, crazy California weather. Oh no, this isn't good. This is hail, guys. Hail. No. Not oh, my plants. Oh, please, I'm sorry, plants.